What's up everyone, my name is Alpha and today we're back with another Pokemon Challenge video. Today we're back on Pokemon Radical Red 4.1 and today we're going to do some more team challenges. I know a lot of you guys love that so we're going to bring it back a lot more on my channel. And so today we're going to try to beat Pokemon Radical Red 4.1 Hardcore Mode using only Ash's Pokemon. Now we've done this in the past on earlier versions of Radical Red but we want to hammer it out and I love doing this challenge because it's kind of fun. We're going to try to beat the latest version of Radical Red using Ash's Pokemon. So on screen right now are all of Ash's Pokemon that we're going to use. Uh, we're gonna use some release Pokemon as well because he did own them because I still consider Greninja as one of Ash's Pokemon even though he kind of released it in the end of X and Y still gonna be a Pokemon I use the rules are pretty simple so on top of that each of my Pokemon will be nicknamed after you guys in the comments thank you so much for leaving a comment in my previous channel video if you just want to be nicknamed after a future Pokemon just drop in the comments and hopefully you'll pick yours and while you're down there please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to my channel it means a lot to me anyways let's get into the challenge video itself so to begin off, I got myself a Trico as a starter Pokemon. His original GOAT, one of the original GOATs, was Sceptile, and he never got a Mega Fur. I was expecting him to get a Mega Fur, but he never did. Uh, but it doesn't matter. We got Trico as our starter Pokemon. That means our rival is going to use a Fire Team at the end. I think that's how it works, but I'm not too sure. But either way, it's kind of annoying. From there, though, there's a bunch of other Pokemon Ash gets that's actually in the early routes in Radical Red that we're going to use. He used a lot of regional birds, and he also had a Primate at one point. He didn't get it all the way to Annihilate because I don't think he went to Paldia, but uh, he still got Primate, so we're going to have Manking on our team. Obviously, he's Pikachu and a bunch of birds as we make our way into Viridian Forest and face off against Brendan. We have Grovile for once. I think I think I just got bored of using Frogadier and Greninja from the start of the game, so we decided to use Grovile as we make our way through the forest, face off against the final trainer in here, and have access into Peter City. And from there, we could face off against Faulkner. Faulkner is not too hard of a fight at all. Since Grovile gets Rock Team for free, it's definitely not too difficult, and Staravia is really broken. As you can see, just finish off Faulkner, and then we could face off against Brock next. Brock's going to be the first gym leader in the game. We're going to start the battle off against him using my Grovile. We're going to unfortunately get baited in by Cacnea with my Grovile as I went for Mega Drain. And then I could go for Fear Cutter and actually pop the Air Balloon as he keeps switching out into his other Pokemon. So Vroom gets his Air Balloon popped. So I go out to my Fampy to knock out the Vroom and then chip down the Lunatone by going into my Corphish. Unfortunately, Corphish will go down by go out into my Grovile, which will get tricked by the Leap once again. But I switch out to my Mankey to eventually knock him out. Or knock him down to low enough where I can switch out to my Grovile to knock out the Leap. And also Fury Cutter to knock out the Cacnea. As from there, his next Pokemon is going to be an Arcan. I go out to my Fampy. I do have some chip damage with Ice Shard, but he goes out to his Lunatone. Which actually is fine by me. Which I can go out in my Grovile in Overgrowth Ring. So I can go for Mega Drain and knock out the Lunatone. And then from there, I can switch out to my Staravia to lower the attack stat of the Arcan twice. And go out to my Grovile to knock out the Arcan with two more Mega Drains. And finish off the Hippotoss as we beat down Brock and get our first Gym Badge in the game. Now from there, we're going to make our way into Route 4, which there's actually a few things we want to do. We're going to face up against this trainer to have access into Mount Moon and catch ourselves a Fletchling, which we could have gotten in a while, but we wanted the hidden ability Gale Wings first. So from there, once we get our Fletchling, we go into Mount Moon, get ourselves a Riolu and also Torkoal, two pretty good Pokemon. And then from there, we're going to move on. We're going to face off against the Scientist at the end of Mount Moon and also face off against Archer. Archer is a pretty easy fight. As from there, we're going to make our way into Cerulean City and face off against Misty next. Misty's a pretty difficult fight. We spent a lot of time against her. As we start the battle off against her using my Grove out, she keeps like uh, not switching out and switching out between her Toxic Croak. So I switched out to my Dawn Fan after my Grove out and went for Magnitude. Lucky enough, I get a Magnitude 5 into a Magnitude 6 to knock out the Toxic Croak. As he goes for Swords Dance twice, which doesn't make sense. I also get a Magnitude 7 against the Clock Sire and then 9 to knock him out, which I, I mean, could have used a 9 to avoid the Toxic. Which is fine, but I go out to my Pikachu to go for a fake out and quick attack to chip him down a little bit. Go out into my Grimer, which will actually poison Fang and knock out the Ludicolo. Goes down to the Polito, which is fine. I go out to my Grovile, gets toxic, but I'm able to knock him out at least. As from there, her next one will be a Mantine. I go out to my Dawnfin next. I'm able to survive uh, the Hurricane and then switch out into uh, my Fletchender to chip, to chip down a little bit more. As I go out to my Lycan Rock to a Cell Rock and knock out the Mantine and chip down the Stormy. As from there, my Grovile barely survives against the Stormy and I'm able to Leaf Blade and knock him out. As we beat down Misty and get ourselves a second Gym Batch in the game. From there, we can make our way into Vermilion Sea by facing off against this trainer in this double battle fight. Uh, we also have access into the SSN where we clear through the water trainers in here, which which was surprisingly easy as we use my Norvern, which evolves really early in this game. I like that. 
as from there we can make our way into the next gym in the game with face off against lieutenant surge next we we'll start to battle off against surge using lucario now lucario is able to go for a forest palm into it and survive a thunderbolt into a mock punch to knock him out as he actually switched out into his raichu unfortunately he's getting knocked on my lucario as i go out and sack my lycan rock okay that was a bad play I then go out to my Dawn Fan, he's gonna switch out to his Ampharos for some reason that allows me to go for Magnitude, Magnitude 8 to knock out the Ampharos and knock out the Paul Nut. Chip down Electro just a little bit with Ice Shard, but it's gonna knock me out as I go out into uh, my Norvern. Norvern, unfortunately, will get both switched on, but I get an Aero Blast off against the Hitmonlee. And from there, everyone's really low, so I go out to my Staraptor, and Staraptor is able to knock out Hitmonlee uh, Electrode, surprisingly. I can also knock out the Rotom Frost with close combat. And then finally, his final potent will be his Raichu, which I quick attack and knock him out. So he really set me up for that sweep at the end, which I really liked. So from there, we're gonna make our way into the Rock Tunnel and clear through the trainers in here. Make our way outside. Thank you everyone for letting me know that Iron Head TM is actually in Mount Moon. So uh, I know I've been getting it way more recently, but I just remember that the comment told me that. Uh, from there, we can make our way into Lavender Town by, by clearing through this Hisun Trainer. And uh, from there, we can make our way into Celadon City and evolve a bunch of Pokemon. So, Ash did have a Gengars at that point, so that's really nice. We also have a Gliscor. We also have uh, three more. Uh, we also have all the other starter Pokemon I really want to use. Incineroar, Charizard, Infernape, and also Greninja. Uh, only one we're really missing is Torterra's, which, I mean, it's not really missing much. As from there, we can move on and face off against the next gym leader in the game. We're going to face off against Erika next. We're going to start the battle off against Erika using my Star Raptor to close combat into her Ogre Pond, but unfortunately... It's gonna knock me out. Unfortunately, I couldn't knock her out with a quick attack, so I go out to my Titan Flame next. Do we beat and knock out the Ogre Pond as her next one will be a Slowbro. A Galarian Slowbro, I go out to my Incineroar, which will Darkest Lariat and two shot it, so I'll take that. As we end up being down a Slowbro, her next one will be a Halucha, which I'm kind of scared of. I sacrifice my Incineroar because I'm not much else to do. I go out to my Titan Flame next. Do we beat does not kill it, so I'm like, oh. This could be struggling. I got to my Dawn Fan. It actually switched out into your Kartana, which means that I gotta switch out into my Charizard and Heat Wave to knock out the Kartana for us. From there, her next poem is gonna be a Mega Sceptile, which I switch out into my Dawn Fan to Ice Shard twice in two, as she goes for Sword Sense for some reason. So we'll take that. I feel like a Bullet Seed would have knocked me out, but we're just not gonna Sceptile and also the Toxic Tree in the back as we beat down, oh, also the Halucha. And we beat down Erica and Garrison's the fourth gym badge in the game, allowing us into the game corner to Garrison's a Dratini. We got a shiny one. Ash didn't have one, but I just want a shiny one. And it also has multi skill, so it's going to be really nice. As from there, we're going to also face off against Giovanni in the basement of the game corner. Clear him through. And then from there, we can make our way into Lavender Tower, where we're clear through the trainers in here. The team Rocket Grunts to get ourselves a Poke Flute and also make our way back to Sylph Co., uh, which we're going to face off against a rival. I don't know why I said back to Sylph Co. I wasn't here in the first place, but we went to Sylph Co. Greenwich is doing his thing where he just beats everything up. So we cleared through our rival and also Archer and Ariana pretty easily with Greninja. Look, didn't even lose a Pokemon on my side. Uh, True Ninja is so broken. As from there, we're going to face off against Giovanni next. Giovanni's a really easy fight, especially since I have a Greninja. Uh, and also Gengar and a multi skill Dragon. Everything's pretty good on my team. Anyways, we beat down Giovanni. We're going to make our way into Saffron City's Dojo to face off against Chuck. And we got <laughs> really lucky at the end that this Como did not knock on my Gengar. And we kept access into the Expert Belt and also the Focus Ash from him. So from there, we're going to face off against Sabrina next. Sabrina, as you guys should know by now, she has infinite Misty Terrain and infinite Trick Room. So we're going to start the battle off against her using my fastest Pokemon possible, Sceptile and Greninja. Now there's a purpose for this, Water Shuriken, doesn't matter his priority, so we can knock out the camera for us, and then from there I can detect with my Sceptile, protect myself from the Misty Explosion, and just get a nice 1 for 2 trade. It goes to my Torkoal next against the Magirna, against the Jellicent, and I go for an Inferno, and one shots the Magirna, and I can Leaf Blade into the Jellicent. So we ended up knocking out the Magirna, Jellicent stays alive, but that's fine, I go out to my Town Flame to knock out the Jellicent, and then switch out into my Incineroar with Intimidate, to lower the attack stat of the Iron Hands, and then from there I could fake out, go for a Flare Blitz with my uh, Town Flame, which I maybe wasn't the greatest play, but it's gonna work out as I switch out my Incineroar into my Sceptile, which survives. I go out into my Inferno next. Inferno is able to go for a Mock Punch and knock out the Glacier for us. We protect ourselves from the Iron Hands, and then we got like four Pokemon against the Iron Hands, so we should be fine here. As eventually we're able to knock them out with two more Flare Blitz as we beat down Sabrina, and we get ourselves the fifth Gym Badge in the game. So from there, we can make our way down Cycling Road and clip into Fuchsia City. We have access into the Egg Move Relearner and also face off against Brendan. Brendan has a really cool team here, but again, my team is just way better. As we beat down Brendan, have access into the Survive Zone, which we can get a bunch of new Pokemon. We got ourselves a Meltan, which is like a legendary Pokemon he has. I don't know where he got that from. Didn't watch the anime that much. Uh, we also get ourselves a Tauros and also get ourselves a Halucha. Really good Pokemon all around. 
as from there we're gonna move on and face off against the first three gym leaders Kokoga asked us to uh, we're gonna face off against Brock clear through Brock pretty easily and then face off against Misty next again Misty using my Mel Metal maybe he's a little cheap but it's kind of fun to use as we beat down Misty and then we face off against Lieutenant Surge next Surge isn't too difficult as my team is kind of broken even I'm using water types against him by the way so you know you guys can see how it's going as from there we beat down Lieutenant Surge and we have access into the next gym in the game finally face off against Koga we're gonna start the battle off against Koga using my Mel Metal which actually works out as we dodge the first focus blast not even needing reset we're able to iron head and knock out the tapu lately as his next Pokemon's gonna be toxicity i go out to my dawn fan dodge the overdrive earthquake into him to knock him out and then his next one will be a hoop unbound sacrifice my dawn fan go out to my focus sash unburdened sceptile which i forgot was unburdened so i actually outspeed a needle king after i beat down a hoopa so i'm like oh what i have i have unburdened this whole time Anyways, I still have to go out to my Dragon to knock out the Needle King because everything else is going to die. I go out to my Halucha against the Crocodile, and Halucha is able to go for a High Jump Kick and knock out the Crocodile for us. As his final Pokemon will be a Shiyu, which I sacrifice my Halucha, go out to my Incineroar to Bodos and knock him out. And two Bodos would knock him out as we beat down Koga, and we don't get the Life Orb. We also, but we do unlock Mega Lucario now, which I don't actually know he used or not, but you know what, Lucario, Mega Lucario, same thing basically. We're going to use him as from there we're going to face off against Price on C from Island Gator. So it's the choice card from him. My team is coming together pretty well. As from there we're going to make our way into Cinnabar Island. You can see these are all the Pokemon I got. Also I got myself a Dragovish from C from Island which is pretty nice. But you can see from my box these are all the Pokemon I'm going to have on my team. As from there we're going to move on and face off against May on Cinnabar Island. Clear through her pretty easily even though she has the really annoying Magma Storm battle theme. So I really don't like that. Uh, from there, we can make our way into the next gym in the game. We're face off against Blaine's trainer in here as well, and then face off against Blaine himself. We're going to start the battle off against Blaine using my Greninja against the Sandy Shock. We have to Ice Beam into the Sandy Shock, but unfortunately, he still down the boats me. I'm able to survive it and then knock him out with a second Ice Beam. His next opponent is going to be a Venusaur as I go out into my Northern. Take a Solar Beam, but lucky enough, I'm able to go for an Aero Blast against him, and uh, he's going to knock me out. So I got to switch out to my Lucario. It actually works out really well. He went for Sludge Bomb as I go out to my Lucario to Blood Punch and knock out the Venusaur. His next opponent after that will be a Great Tusk. I'm like, I got to sack something. I sacked my Greninja because I think it was time. Then I got to uh, my Northern Aero Blast, but I caught the Ho-Oh instead. So I went out into my Lycan Rock, which would knock him out to his Phoenix form. But he's going to knock me out. So, you know, not the greatest play. But I go out to my Lucario to knock him out with a Rock Tomb. His next opponent will be a Great Tusk. Which honestly works out as I go out to my Northern. Dodge an attack from him. And then Aero Blast to knock out the Great Tusk. And his next opponent will be a Charizard Axe as I go for a Dragon Pose. He's going to knock me out though as I go out to my Lucario to <laughs> Rock Tomb once again. And then High Jump Kick into the Walking Wake. As we do really good damage. I uh, got to go out to my Dragon. To Extreme Speed and knock out the Walking Wake. But we beat down Blaine pretty easily. And speaking of pretty easily, we face off against Archer and Ariana in Superloon Cave, and we're to beat him down pretty easy. So we beat down Archer. All that's left on my team against Ariana is my Lucario, and Lucario clutched up by one-shotting every single thing on her team, as you can see, besides Super Mawal, which I actually outplayed with Bullet Punch. As we beat down Ariana, and we have access into facing off against Giovanni for the last time, we have Incineroar, we have Halucha. This team is kind of broken, so we're going to beat down Giovanni on our first attempt. So, as you can see, really easy fight. And from there, we can make our way into the next gym in the game. We're going to face off against Claire next. We're going to start the battle off against Claire using my Lightning Rock, Dust Main. We're going to Rock Slide and flinch down a Shuckle, which is pretty free. From there, we're forced out of the Archelon, which I didn't really want. So, I go out to my Infernape, take the Steel Beam, which isn't fun, but close combat into him. We'll crit him and knock him out. Wow, that's one shot him through that. Eternatus comes out. I'm like, okay, this is kind of a problem. So I decided to switch out. I switch out into my Lycan Rock to a Cell Rock, but, you know, just to do some chip damage. Go out to my Dragonite to Dragon Rush and knock him out with an extreme speed at the end. So that's how tanky that thing is. Her next one will be an Ultra Necrozma, which is extreme speed, but she's going to knock me out. Go out to my Greninja next, which unfortunately, I don't get a Dark Pulse off. She's going to switch out to her Magirda. Uh, I got to stay in, sack my Greninja, which is unfortunate. And then, uh... Well, I burned it at least. I go out into my Inferno to knock out the Magirna, and then from there, her next one will be a Necrozma. The Ultra Necrozma kind of does a lot of work, knocks out my Inferno, and then I go out to my Halucha, which actually is able to get an Acrobax and U turn off against him, and then switch out into my Lucario to Bullet Punch, and then prepare for the Roaring Moon. As from there, it's gonna knock me out, but I do have my Halucha with a Focus Sash. I'm gonna high jump kick and knock out the Roaring Moon, and also chip down a Shuckle with Drain Punch and High Jump Kick. So we're gonna beat down Claire at the end pretty easily. As from there, we're gonna face off against a rival in route 22 and he has a fire team that means his team is going to be surrounded 
or my team's gonna be surrounded with magma storm and i hate this battle condition entirely i don't know if you guys can tell but i hate this battle condition as from there we're gonna move on and face off against brendan brendan's too easy of a fight afterwards so you know what pretty easy we clear them down and can make our way into victory road and then head into the pokemon league itself our team is gonna consist of a melmetal lucario gengar Greninja, Dragonite, and also my Gliscor, which has Counter and Bodos, which is the only moves they really need to use. As from there, we're going to face off against Lorelei's next. Lorelei's going to use her Ice Team today, so we're going to start the battle off against her using my Melmetal and also my Greninja as we face off against her Glaceon and Landorus. We're able to go for an Ice Beam to one-shot the Landorus and then double Iron Bash to knock down the Glaceon to red HP. From there, she can switch out to her Tapu Fini as I go for a Thunder Punch against it. And then Water Shuriken with my Greninja to knock out the Glaceon. Works out like a charm, as her next opponent after that will be a Shin Pao, which I went for Water Shuriken to break the Focus Ash of it. And we're able to knock out the Tapu Fini too, which is really nice. Her next opponent after that will be an Abomasto, which they're getting double knock on my Pokemon. It's fine, I go out into my Lucario next. Lucario and Gengar is a pretty good combo, as I'm able to Meteor Mash into the Abomasto and then Aura Sphere and knock out the Shin Pao. Uh, works out pretty well for us, as from there we're able to Bullet Punch and knock out the Abomasto, and then ship down to Kieran White, as from there the battle is getting a little close, I'm able to go for our Aura Sphere and Extreme Speed to eventually knock out, okay I didn't knock out the Kieran White, but uh, my, fo my Focus Sash Glide Score in the back will actually survive a Freeze Dry, and because of that I could Fire Fang and knock out the Kieran White, so you know what, everything came down to it, the last Pokemon possible, but it works out. As from there, we're going to move on and face off against Bruno next. Bruno's going to be the fighting type Leaf Four member of the game. We're going to start the battle off against him using my Greninja to Scald into his Urshifu. Not the greatest play, I'm not going to lie. Switch out to my Melmetal, which isn't the greatest idea, I'm not going to lie, as it goes for close combat and knocks me out. Go out to my Greninja once again to knock out his Zacian, at least, as he's going to go out to his Iron Baleant. I go out to my Lucario, which is going to go for a Boil Punch and knock out the Iron Baleant. The Halucha comes out, it's kind of scary though. I went to my Gliscor to, uh, actually lucky enough, I predicted the Swords Dance, and then go for a counter to knock out the Halucha, and then Bodos into the Necrozma twice, allowing me to go out to my Gengar to almost knock out the Necrozma, but Boil Punch from my Lucario would knock him out. As from there, the Urshifu comes out, High Jump kicked into him to knock him out, and then Boil Punch into the Meta Champ to do some chip damage. As from there, I go out to my Dragonite to knock out the Metacham and we're able to beat down Bruno. Next up on our agenda, we're going to face off against Agatha next. We're going to start the battle off against Agatha, resetting for a little bit. We're going to wait for a Dark Pulse flinch and then go for an Ice Beam off against the Yvelto, which we catch and we also Frostbite it, which is really nice. From there, I'm looking for a Dark Pulse flinch. Didn't get it as I get Dark Hold. I get put to sleep and unfortunately, I get knocked out by the Yvelto. As she switched out into her Victini, I go out to my Dragonite next. Dragonite is able to go for a Dragon Tail as she sets up a Z Celebrate, which lucky enough, I'm able to avoid it. And then force out the Victini once again to knock him out with two Dragon Rushes. Her next moment will be a Fluttermane, which knocks out my Dragonite. I go out to my Melmetal to double Iron Bash and knock out this Fluttermane. And also, the Mewtwo X comes out. It's going to knock me out, but I have a plan. I go out into my Gengar next. Gengar is able to Hypnosis into him. Eventually, second time works. And then Shadow Ball twice into him to knock him out, which is really nice. Her next moment will be a Crocodile, which also sets up Rocks, which doesn't matter at this point. I made an Aura Sphere and knock out the Crocodile. And Shadow Ball to knock out the Kyrax. Unable to knock out the Yvelto, but my Lucario is as we end up beating down Yvelto as we beat down Agatha. Now, as next up, we're going to face out against Lance next. Lance is a bit easier of a fight as we start off the battle off against him using my Greninja, the Dark Post Flinch, the Glimmoral, and then Hydro Pump to knock him out. From there, his next opponent is going to be a Primal Dialga. He's going to Roar Time Me Out. I got to my Lucario. And High Jump Kick into a crit will do that. One shot, basically, the Dialga Primal. And then from there, his next opponent is going to be a Dragonite. I break his multi scale, but I got to sack something as I go out into my Mel Metal. I'm able to double Iron Bash into him and knock out the Dragonite. Force out his own Mel Metal, and then I go for a Dynamic Punch, and it works out. Unfortunately, he doesn't get hit in confusion, but it almost works out. Go out into my Lucario next to knock out the Mel Metal, and then Boulder Punch into the Arceus Fairy. Allowing me to go out into my Gengar next. Gengar is able to go for a Hypnosis eventually. And then and for some reason, I went out into my Dragonite, which will actually extreme speed into him a few times. Didn't work out as I go out into my Greninja. Hydro Pump to knock him out, which still didn't happen. Go out to my Gengar next to knock him out. And finally, we're able to knock out the Arceus Fairy. As his final opponent will be a Mega Ray. Sack my Gengar, but I go out into my Focus Sash Glasgow. Take the Dragon Scent and a counter into him to knock him out. As we beat down Lance and secure ourselves. A spot against the champion so from there we're gonna face up against blue next blue is gonna be the champion of radical red 
We're gonna start the battle off against him using my Gengar. Gengar is able to go for a Hypnosis, finally lands the Groudon, and also Shadow Ball into him to lower his special defense. No, actually, no, I went for Confusion, and then Shadow Ball to crit him and knock him out. So the Confusion was a waste of time, that's all it was. From there, his next opponent is gonna be an Arceus Ground. I decided to Hypnosis into the Arceus Ground, and then try to Shadow Ball him just like I did with the Groudon earlier, but unfortunately he's going to switch out into his G-Max Eternatus. I stayed in, I take the Dragon Barrage and then confuse him, and then wait for the chance to perfectly attack him. As we're able to Shadow Ball twice into him, he hits himself twice as well, as we beat down the G-Max Eternatus. And then his next one will be a Coridon, which I sacrifice my Gengar to. I go out into my Melmetal, which will Explosion on the Coridon, which, you know what, it works out, we knock him out. As for them, I switch out into my Lucario. It kind of scared off by the Gaussian Fire, so I go switch out into my Dragonite. Eventually, I'm able to do Dragon Rush into him. And, uh, and then from there, I'm able to switch out and catch the Xerneas. I didn't want this thing to set up. So I'm able to Mirror Mash and knock him out with my Lucario and also chip down to the Gaussian Fire. It's going to leave him with 1 HP as I go out to my Dragonite to knock out and also chip down to RCS Ground. Kind of a little bit. I mean, not really. I start switch out into my Gliscor. Gliscor is able to go for an Earthquake and it chip down. Uh, the Arceus ground for a little bit. I leave him at 1 HP as I go out to my Greninja to Ice Beam and Knockout as we end up being down our rival Blue and we end up being Radicorep 4.1 Hardcore Mode using only Ash's Pokemon. Now obviously Ash has a really broken Pokemon team but you know what? Using it was pretty fun overall. So anyways, thank you so much for watching all the way to the end. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. If you guys can, please leave a like and subscribe to my channel. It means a lot to me and my name is Alpha, and I hope you guys all had a great day and odds. Peace.